Another useful tool that is used for frost protection is the wind machine. And there are various styles of wind machine from engines on top or EOTs to ground power units. Most of them are now being pro, uh, powered by propane and gasoline units are becoming a little bit obsolete because they can be converted to propane to burn much cleaner and the propane does not go bad and generally propane is not being stolen and put into vehicles. That's the main concern. And when the it's very cold out again at 34, 35 degrees, the motors will start much easier on a propane system than they will a gasoline system. In this particular vineyard here, we have one wind machine that can protect roughly 10 to 12 acres of grapes. And again, the process is the wind machines will bring down the warmer air from 30 to 40 feet up and mix it with the cooler air that's been settling down. We'll go ahead and give a minute for the motor to warm up here a little bit because driving these big fans, it takes a lot of horsepower. We want to make sure our motor is warmed up before we uh, engage the clutch. As the crop is rotating around and around, also the head is driven by a gear and it rotates on the column to make a full circle in about 10 minutes. It's again pulling down the cooler air from above the inversion layer and mixing it with the, the cold air that's on the ground. We machines only have a protective capability down to maybe 29 or 30 degrees, whereas water can protect down to 24, 25, 26 degrees depending on the conditions. As the wind machine starts to circulate, you start to see the cover crop moving. Again, it's moving air. There's a volume of air that's being moved and cycled around in the vineyard. 